Shout out to my man's Pete, well you know the deal The only place to go so you can get the real And when you see the light just know it's go time No holes bar cause it's show time Yeah, shout out Pete 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 Yo, 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 everybody, this is your boy, Brian Fobbs, with my guy, Pierre. This is his show, but I took over since he don't like openers. I hate the openers. Welcome back to another talk show with Pierre. Oh, man. That's the type of energy I've been dealing with for 10 years. Hey. But, uh, how you guys doing, man? Welcome back. This is my guy, B. Fobbs, Brian Fobbs, for those who don't know. We're going to have him on the show today. Um... For those who don't know him, me and B, uh, me and B have been friends and what, teammates since what 2011 when you graduated. Yeah, 2011. Uh, we met at the All Star, uh, his All Star. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. yeah. All Star game. <laughs> and, I took, uh, and he got one of my favorite photos that year, which was uh, him catching a sideline pass with the. Um, I remember his, that. His Charlie uh, Demar. Yeah, it was a Batman. Yeah, Batman backpack. All right, and then he went to state, but I'll let him tell the story. So. For those who don't know, you tell your story. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, you know it, but I uh, started out San Jose Valley Christian High School. Um, wasn't very heavily recruited by any means. Uh, like P said, went to San Jose State right after that. Uh, I was I was doing my thing there uh, on the field, not necessarily academically. And uh, that essentially forced me to go to De Anza, where we linked up again. <laughs> and, and I had to fight Bob for reps. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys it wasn't much of a fight. It wasn't much of a fight. My thing about it is, I can admit that now, but then, yeah. it was like, bruh. Yeah. It, Cause there was, there was 10 of us basically that yeah. can play. Uh -huh. but, but like after they graduated and we were sophomores, before I got hurt, mm -hmm. I was like, all right, it's me and Bob basically with sophomores. Yeah. And then yeah. you just went crazy. And then we you know what it was, it was your work ethic. For, Cause like you'd be like, hey, let's go run these routes, let's go do this, let's go do that, and I'd be like, yep. yeah, no. Day <laughs> after practice, yeah, catch like, extra balls, and that's you know. the, kids don't get that. Like you like really work. So like when it came to the sophomore season, I got hurt, and I was like taking photos of you, kind of. Uh, for those that know, bro, Bob's went crazy. Uh, what was it, fifteen hundred and twenty thirty yeah, twenty seven touchdowns? It was, uh, Ten games, ninety six catches. 1,500 yards, 20 touchdowns. Shout out to Jack, because Jack was slinging that thing. Jack was slinging that thing. <laughs> but, like, bro, and see, the thing about it is, Bob wasn't playing no scrubs. Like, these are deep, like, he, we were playing D1 talent at the time, like, so. You know, let me get back to my story. Oh, bro. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I mean, I was yeah. telling the story. Oh, yeah, we, but I, we're in the midst of it. Okay, get back, get back you, you jump in. You jump in. Can I, like, let me, hey, hold on. See, it's so, not that do it, so, bro. So, go back to your story, you bro. You know, back to my story. First year at, uh, De Anza, I was surrounded by nothing but talent. Josh McCain, Rodney McKenzie, um, just to name a couple of guys. And, uh, and you know, it was interesting because we all had to share. And uh, that was uh, like the first time that I really had to do that, especially coming from Valley, you yeah. know, um, and one receiver sets. So being surrounded by that talent, like definitely forced me to work a little bit harder than the next person. And, um, and that was all due to the fact that I wanted it, you know. Uh, going into my sophomore year, that's when uh, I really, the, the work ethic just, just started to show, you know, it didn't matter. I would take all the, like P said, I would take all the first team <laughs> reps. <laughs> I would take all my reps. <laughs> and then take the second and, team. And then I would take the second team, and then when third team went in, I'd go off to the side and do ladder work and stuff. So and push -ups. <laughs> Yeah, and push-ups, right? Do fitness <laughs> things, you know? I used to look at Paul like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, and, and you know what? But that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Everybody, it was always, I always felt like it was just me, you know? <laughs> and everybody always looked at me like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why Why do you think that you're better than us? Like, yeah. you know, instead, but, but I will also say this. I take uh, full responsibility because I was very standoffish and not, never was I inviting to where it was like, come get this work with me. Let's get better together, you know? You know what? It, depend, it, it depended who it was. Though. It depended yeah, on who it was. Because you took that's certain true. cats under your wing yeah. and you taught certain dudes. But at the same time, you were actually ready to work because our sophomore year, we weren't. Like, we, we had the talent, but like you said, no one went to work. Because like, we, yeah. we won, you know, we had one North Cali the year before, so or, or tied. But so we thought it was going to be handed to us, and, especially if we had the talent. So we're like, yeah. all right, so no one worked. 
accept you. And then when dudes did work, it was like they were half assing it. So it was like, all right. Yeah. And they were wondering why you got all the balls. Like, why, like literally, Jack was like, huh, we have the talent. But he was like, I trust you because we've done this every day in practice. Like, yeah. I hate one hand catches, bro, with the passion. But, like, <laughs> you made it so, like, I seen you do it every single day. Like, it wasn't no BS when you, yeah. were, like, that photo, I'm going to post it in this video. I'm going to post it, like, right to the top. When you caught that one like this, bro, and this dude, they're just like, bro, that was luck. And I just was telling everybody, like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, so then I, 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 I that's the coldest part is that, like, people were, people were hating on it. Like, the fact that, like, why can't you just be, like, happy? Like, hey. okay, you know? But I, I was a jerk though. I, back then I was a but jerk. You, oh, you talk, I was a jerk. You were I was a jerk. You know. You would go back to the huddle and be like, I was a cocky in. jerk. <laughs> but see, it's a receiver. We needed that though, especially on that team because there wasn't, there wasn't. But like, we didn't have dogs on that team really. Yeah. Like the yeah. year before, so we were like, you're like, all right, I'm gonna work. Especially uh, Fonzo went down, mm -hmm. so you were really like, you had it because Jack wasn't gonna. Jack wasn't a chirper like that. Jack would. Yeah, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> we had. Yeah, yeah. We needed someone to be like, yeah. all game, all, I because. I was talking, but I think I had like four catches that year. Like, <laughs> so, we really needed somebody to let the people know. Yeah, you know? and, and, and like know. you just you got us hyped. So it was like, all right. And then once that season's over, I was like, all right, Bob was going D one. Like I knew for a fact that he was going D one, just because the numbers were there and the, the the competition we played. And I was just like, bro, there's no way a D one school is going to be like, all right, we're recruiting a DB from the same division. And, and uh, yeah, and, yeah and, uh, recruit me, it, it yeah. just didn't make no sense to me. So yeah, so I mean, what happened? What ended up happening was basically uh, since I went to San Jose State, which was a Division One school, um, I fell into the four two four rule. Wow. So basically, it said if you started out a four year D one and you go to a junior college, you have to get your AA before you can go to another D one. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, you know, we were finishing up. I had about maybe two more quarters left before I actually got my AA and it came down to like me having to complete some math class and that was just not my I that was just not my no I had no business doing no math class so I uh I unfortunately decided to take the easy route mm -hmm. and I was like what's the loopholes how can I get around this mm -hmm. and the loophole was you can basically anything outside of D1 is fair game for full scholarship so as soon as I got my first offer from a Division two school, I was like, let me hop on it, um, which ended up having to be uh, Saginaw Valley in Michigan. But I, uh, it's funny because I actually didn't even take a visit. I didn't even know where Michigan was on the map. Like, <laughs> I just I just literally got, they, they told me I'm offered. I was like, all right, let's do this. I flew out there. And then as soon as I get off the plane, they were like, hey, yeah, by the way, it's uh, the worst winter we've had in 40 years. Bro, hey, hey. <laughs> you're like, you're, uh, what was it, because we had Snapchat back then. Your Snapchat stories, were like, they just look cold. Yeah, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, it was just white all over the I place. you slipped a few times, like, just the first But I never fell, though. I know you never fell. You, you slipped. Know, I, you I, slipped, but we don't fall. <laughs> yeah, I look like a break dancer at some point in time, but uh, yeah, man, out there, I was out there for two years, my junior year, um, dealt with a little bit of adversity, you know, played on the broken ankle, um, didn't know it was broken, and uh, and then from there, got the surgery, came back, and uh, they kind of hit me with some politics, so that, that's, that's how my football career ended, but, um, you know, I want to change it. For, for anything, man, yeah. to be honest. I was telling, uh, who was it, Paris and all them, we were talking, because uh, we were talking about Epi, mm -hmm. rest in peace. But we were talking about, like, just how that, like, that bond, that team, it's like, I wouldn't go back and change nothing, like, I don't, like, at all, like, because we are talking about Dub almost blew the Santa Rosa game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was his best game, like, the, the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, in the point when it was blew it. We're talking about Rodney just being, just, just, uh, going one on ones, and then we we're talking about Dub, it was like, bro, if you were that nice, you wouldn't have, you would have started. Like, so it was just like, our friendships that we grew like that's like ten years almost now. Yeah. So like yeah. a lot of us ain't nobody's really switched up. We pretty much stayed in like contact. I'd be like talking to Paris and all that and Ron. And it's dope seeing what everybody's doing yeah, now, yeah, you like, know, and how the lives have just how the live the direction and everybody's taking their life is that's we, we, we got fathers, we got business owners like me and you. Like yeah. when you were the first business owner, I was like, Yo, Fobs, what are you doing? Like uh, what, what am I not doing? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> hey, I, was like, I was like, Hey, I'm doing this photographer thing, but what's this LLC stuff you're talking about? Like, yeah. what is this? So, like, how'd you get into that? Like, how'd you get into, like, how'd you switch from going from sports to, like, fitness? And yeah, man. Thing as a so, so, basically, uh, 
right after football finished, um, I came back to San Jose and uh, tried out and with the 49ers that didn't pan out and basically, you know, had to start working, had to had to start paying Everybody. bills. Yeah. So, so I was like, uh, how can I do this? And with with no degree at that time, well, still to this day, but with no degree, I uh, I only went, I went back to what I knew, which was, you know, fitness and working out. And uh, so I got into city sports. Mm -hmm. I started selling personal training and um, eventually got really good at it. And, uh, you know, everybody that I was doing assessments with, they were like, well, you know, I want you to be my trainer. Like, I don't want you to just set me up with a trainer. Yeah. I want you to train me like... And I'm, I'm like, okay, that's made me start thinking like, if I, if these people want me to train them, like, why wouldn't I just get my cert exactly yeah. and train it myself, right? So uh, that's that's exactly what I did. I uh, went and got certified. Um, that's when I was living in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Got certified, came back out uh, because this is my where my network is at. Yeah. And um, and started at 24 Hour Fitness. That took me to Orange Theory and. Now I'm working with uh, fitness startups and, and as an independent contractor and just that's kind of how I got into it. it sounds good. I'm an independent contractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it always sounds good when they are I'm like, I don't work with them. I'm contracted. Uh, like, contract, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, as far as like the startups, um, I've seen you what do VCs. I've seen you do a lot of stuff, bro. You were modeling at De Anza on the side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, then you start doing like uh, prom uh, like what is it promotion and like product stuff with like VCs. Well, yeah, I was um, I was coaching there. I was coaching there, you know, mm -hmm. as well. I was coaching the wide receivers for the football team. Um, I was talking about the, oh, the, um, the helmets. Oh, vices. 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 Oh. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Vices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vices. Yeah. So um, everything see. is just it's just a connection. You know, yeah. it's just one connection leads to the next. Um, that vices connection happened from somebody through Valley, and uh, yeah, we did like a, a dope a dope shoot for their um, their O uh, twos, like their newest. Helmet models and uh, me and Josh. Yeah. He said, "You know anybody with dreads?" <laughs> and I hit you up. Then I hit you yeah, up. I was like, yeah. "Hey!" But, I, but see, I'm. This is when I, I was weird on camera back then. Like <laughs> now, it's like it's like a job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, like, but yeah, like okay. But so besides that, you you also coach now at your your alma mater. Or well, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was. I, I coached there for the past two years, and um, like I said, I was coaching. Actually, where is it at? I was coaching. The wide receivers. Oh, you close ring out. Yeah, oh, my see, this, first this, year. This, this is why I can't. My first so year. We, close ring out. Yeah, right, let me go ahead and see that right there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. how I do it. Yeah, but no, the funny thing is, uh, when I see you on the sidelines the first time, I was like, is that Bob? And the first thing you do is like, get ready for a flick like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, don't then, pull the camera out around me. I don't no, know what to do with I it. Know. I, I don't know, know what to do with it. See, you know, like, I'd be laughing at players. They'd be like, oh, I didn't know you were on silent. They'd be like, bro, if you see me, you, you yeah. know what time it is. Yeah. So, like, yeah, bro, your receivers, like, they, I, I, there's, like, especially Jerry and uh, Dickie, that mm. he's nice, bro. He's, mm. he's, he's going to be something special. I've been watching him. He's on my watch list. Yeah, absolutely. But I just been like, especially just seeing you go back and teach them, it's like full circle in a sense. Yeah. Like, you've never forgot where you came from. Yeah. Um, but yeah. uh, you talked about startups. Mm -hmm. you, I think you do, what is it? Is it called Tempo? It's called Tempo, yep. So basically it's an at-home fitness unit, you mm -hmm. know, with the pandemic going on. Um, it's, it's, it's really big and booming, mm -hmm. uh, the at-home fitness industry. Okay. And so what we do is we kind of offer a uh, strength training solution. So it's an all-in-one unit. Basically people can purchase the unit and it comes with all the weights, the barbells, the dumbbells, and uh, I'm one of the trainers that would take you through a live class. And so we have all on-demand classes, we have uh, live classes, and the interesting thing about Tempo is that it offers form feedback based off of how oh, you move. Dope. And it's instant. So like as you're performing the movement, there's cameras that are identifying the joint actions mm -hmm. and telling you, hey, you know, like if you're doing a squat, excessive forward lean, or you need to pull your shoulders back. And it'll show you that you're doing something wrong. And once you make the correction, it'll show you that you've made it. So, um, yeah, man, it's 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 it's, it's, uh, it's cutting edge technology, <laughs> you know. And in the Silicon Valley, no no better place to to have it set up, you know. Yeah, you also did the thing with um, the mayor. Yeah, yeah. So I was yeah, offering. Uh, you're everywhere, bro. I was offering. You gotta, you gotta do a jack of all trades. You know, <laughs> you, you gotta do everything. I like to think of myself as a Renaissance man, aspiring. 
So you know, I just try to get talk, into talk, as talk much. To I just try to get into as much things as possible, you know. But uh, right. yeah, as far as the the mayor goes, um, once shelter in place hit, and I saw a need for people to continue to move, and um, and I offered free classes basically, and uh, the mayor was reposting them on his uh, Facebook and his Instagram. And and so, yeah, so yeah, I didn't see it on your page. I seen it. He was like, "What?" I was like, "Is that Brian?" I was like, "Is yeah, that Bob?" Yeah. Like, a lot of people <laughs> were actually like coming out the cut and was just like, "Hey, bro, I seen you on the mayor's page. Like, but that was you, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, that yeah. that was me. I was doing the workout." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's crazy, bro. Because it's just crazy. Like, I had to have you on here just because I support. Like, I've been supporting what you're doing since always, since, always. since you left for Saginaw. But seeing you have your own business, I was just like. Yeah, eventually we gotta have you on here. We're supposed to do the photo interview, but we're probably gonna take photos for this. I just wanted you to tell your story and just Yeah, man, have, I appreciate it, you know. know it's, it's always it's always uh fun to tell my story and um anybody who's interested in hearing it, you know, because you never know, you might you might your experience might change somebody else's life. Exactly. You know? And they can learn from it. Like they can see, okay, you're honest enough to say I messed up at school, but you still can you still can like you still can make something out of it. And there's other ways to get it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not just one way. And and you know, I always thought like, oh well, I'm I wouldn't I don't need the degree, right? Because in this point in time in my life, even if I was to go back and get the degree, my pay yeah. wouldn't change. Would it? Right? And so what's what incentive is there? But then, you know, after the pandemic hit and everybody started going back to online stuff. I was like, it, it kind of became more so of a of an accomplishment thing for me. So I'm actually re-enrolling to go back because uh, I finished uh, prematurely. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's just more so of a thing for me. Not even the fact that it's, 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 gonna, it's not going to make it doesn't do any, any pay change. Yeah, but. See, it's, it's on my board, too, like to finish school. Yeah. But like, it doesn't change nothing for me because... I you know kind of established what I'm doing, yeah. But it's more of like, oh, I want my degree just for yeah. me. Like it's like, all right, I, you know, just. And it, it comes back down to you know you 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 should always just finish what, what you started. started. Yeah, like yeah. even if I was just going to school to like play football essentially, yeah. but it's like I want to finish. I want to have my photography degree. You know, be like, oh yeah, here you go. Mm -hmm. but, all right, man. We're gonna get these photos started. So let's do it. You guys, let's uh, do it. make sure you guys follow Fobs. Uh, make sure you tell me your B Fobs fit B E. F O B B S fit. Follow me on IG. All the fitness content that you need is all there. He's on Twitter, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. All right, peace.